Hello everyone, welcome back to another lecture of chapter 1. Under this, we will discuss about subsistence strategies. And the subtopics are the food, the dress, ornaments, fashions, amusements, household articles, conditions of women, disposal of the dead, medicines, and education. So the first one is food. And in the previous lecture, we have discussed that the Harappan civilization is divided into three phases. The early Harappan phase from 3300 BC to 2600 BC and the major Harappan culture it is from 2600 to 1900 BC. So in spite of the huge time difference between the early Harappan and the major Harappan phase, they have similar food habits. These two cultures eat vegetables on a wide range and these vegetables are the wheat, barley, lentil, chickpea and sesame. And the animal bones were also discovered which reveals that the Harappan people consume and domesticated the animals. They domesticate animals such as cattle, sheep, goats, buffalo, pig, fish and fowl and they add mutton, beef, fish and eggs. Apart from that, bones of wild animals like boar, deer, and garile were also found. But it is not clear whether the Harpan people hunted these animals, these wild animals, or they got its meat from other hunting communities. Apart from plant and animals, the Harpan people also eat fruits, dates, and also milk were included in their diets. Dressed The Harpan people wore cotton and woolen clothes and the dress coat of the men and women were different. The men wear shawl to cover the upper body and wore a band of cloth round their loins, while the women wore a skirt which stretched like a fan on the back of her head, as you can see in the picture. Ornaments Both men and women were fond of wearing ornaments, and there are certain ornaments which are worn by both men and women. They are necklace, fillets, armlets, finger rings and bangles, but there are also certain ornaments which are worn just by women. They are girdles, nose studs, earrings and anklets. Ornaments are made of gold, silver, copper and bronze and they were designed with precious and semi-precious stones. Fashioned. The Indus people were fashionable and the fashion that was vogue among the men were short beards and short whiskers, shave upper lip, comb their hair backward, cut their hair short, or coil in a bun on top. And among the women, the headdress was prevalent. Amusements The amusement of the Indus Valley people include dancing, music, under music, they play the string musical instruments and drums, and they also have indoor and outdoor games. Indoor games are chess and dicing, which were the common pastime of the people. And the outdoor games are hunting both for sports and game purpose and they also love watching bird fights. For the children, they have clay toys and these clay toys are of different figures such as animal figures, birds and human beings, sometimes cards and whistles. Household articles. The household articles include the earthen wares and the vessels and these Domestic vessels include heaters, store jars, and offering stands, and these were made of copper, bronze, silver, and porcelain. Stone was not commonly used for the household articles because stone was not available locally. Conditions of women The conditions of women during the Indus Valley civilization was good because both men and women have equal status. Moreover, the worship of female deity also shows that the women were highly respected within the society. Disposal of the dead So there are three ways of disposing the dead. The first is that they bury the dead body. In the second case, the first burn the dead body and after that they bury the ashes. But in the third case, the dead body were left for the birds and for the bees to feast on them. Medicines so we do not know much about the medicines of the Indus Valley people. However, certain leaves which have medicinal qualities were been found and they are shilajit, coral and leaves of neem. And the discovery of this leaf led to the archaeologists to believe that the Indus people might have used them for medicinal purposes.
The archaeologists also suggest that, that the Indus Valley people might have used powder horns for medicinal purpose. The next is education. So just like medicines, even in terms of education, would not have direct evidence. However, the discovery of pictographic script indicates that literacy was widespread among the people. Moreover, the Harpan people also have engineering skill as it is evident from the town plannings, the construction of houses, the baths, the roads, and the drainage system. And the use of metals and their alloys, the commercial context, and a variety of household articles shows that the people also have knowledge of physical science. And uh, Harpan people also possess personal and public hygiene. And we have also discussed about the sanitations, how the Harpan people have their own drainage system, which is connected to the main drains. And for dumping of waste, they have pits on both the side of the roads. So all this shows that the Harpan peoples were well-educated people and also possess certain skills. Economic life, agriculture, trade, art, industries. The discovery of certain articles of the Harpan people, such as the utilitarian and luxury goods, the seal, the town planning, well-laid houses, drainage system, roads, and massive infrastructure all shows that the Harpan people are prosperous and has achieved certain material progress. And under the economic life, we will talk about agriculture, domestication of animals, hunting, art and industry, trade and commerce, ways and measures of the Harapan people, agriculture and agricultural technologies. Agriculture was the main occupation of the Harapan people and the food crops of the Harapan people include wheat, barley, peas, lentils, linseed, pulses and mustard and these crops are grown in a plow field. Oxen was used for plowing because terracotta models of plow have been discovered at sites in Jolistan and at Banawali. And the engravement of bull and oxen in the seals led to the archaeologists to estimate that the Harpan people might have used oxen for plowing the fields. And evidence of plow field was also found at Kalibangant, where two set of furrows was discovered and it appears that Two different crops were sown together in different fields. And regarding the tools of the Harpan people, archaeologists are not sure whether the people use stone blades set in wooden handles or they use metals for plowing. Maybe the people have used either one of them or both but there is no evidence as of now. Irrigation system. Since the Harpan sites are mostly located in semi-arid lands, irrigation was needed for agriculture and traces of canals were found at Chotugai which is in Afghanistan. Water was also drawn from well for irrigation purpose and the reservoir were also found at Dolavira and this reservoir might have been used for storing water for agriculture. Domestication of animals. Domestication of animals was another means of livelihood of the Harapan people apart from agriculture. And like we have discussed, the Harpan people domesticated animals such as cow, bulls, buffaloes, sheep, goats, camel, etc. And this was indicated from the seal discovered. Poultry farming was also practiced. Hunting. Hunting and fishing were also means of livelihood of the Indus people. And the Indus people traded the hunted animal skins, bones, and hairs for other objects. Art and industry. The art industry of the Harpan people includes spinning and weaving, carpentry, pottery, ivory working, shell needles, jewelry, toys, and boat building. So under the spinning and weaving, the spindles of the Harpan people were made of copper and bronze, and during this time, the cotton textile flourished. The pottery include cup and vases, which were made of bronze, silver, copper, and lead, and these pottery are either glazed or painted. The ivory working includes combed. They also know the art of shell needles. And the jewelry were made of copper, bronze, gold, and silver. And the toys are of different forms, such as we have also discussed that they include the figure of animals, birds, and humans, and also the cards. 
and they also know the art of board buildings. So these are the art industry of the Harpan people and we have mostly discussed about them in the previous lecture and in details. So these are just the highlights of the art industry of the Harpan people. Trade and Commerce So Indus people have good trade relations not only with India but also with foreign countries which we have discussed and within India the Indus or Harpan people have trade relation with Southern and Eastern India, Kashmir, Mysore and Nilgiri hills. And outside India they have trade relations with Mesopotamian sites such as Babylonia, Ur and Kish, with Egypt, with Persia which is present day Iran. And gold, silver and precious stones were not found within the Harpan civilization. So they mostly import these items through trade and they exchange these materials for their textiles, the pottery and other articles. And the trade was carried out through river routes and Mohenjo-daro served as an inland port for carrying out the trade. Weights and measures The Harpan weights were mainly made out of stone and marble. There are two types of weights, one is smaller weights and another is heavier weights. The smaller weights are cubical in shape and they are mainly used by the jewelers while the heavier weights are conical in shape and some of the heavier weights are so heavy that they have to be lifted through ropes. And these heavier weights are mainly used in trade, taxation and in architecture. For measurement purpose, the poor use pebbles as weights. And the measurement of cubic feet was known to the Harpan people. And it is said that the Harpan weights are more accurate than those of Elm and Mesopotamia. Government Political Organization Ancient Authority Under this we will discuss about the administrations, the palaces and kings and weapons of far of the Harappan people. We have little knowledge about the nature of politics and the history of rulers of the Indus Valley people because there is no definite evidence. So the archaeologists have to estimate on the material remains of the Harappan people. For example, the archaeologists considered large buildings found at Mohanjadaro to be a palace and the statue of the priest king to be one of the statue of the rulers of the Harpan people. Moreover, most scholars opine that the Harpan civilization had a highly centralized administration as the province of Sin, Punjab, East Baluchistan and Kathaiwar were connected and they were under the control of a single administration. This is evidenced or indicated by the uniformity of culture such as similar pattern of planning and construction, scrape, weights and measures, same types of buildings were found in these regions. And for administrative purpose, the empire was divided into two important centers, Mohenjo-daro to govern the southern province and Harappa to govern the northern province. Moreover, they also have municipal corporation to look after the civic amenities of the people. Weapons of War the weapons of war of the Harpan people include axes, spears, daggers, bows, arrows, maces, slings, catapults, swords, and shields. And these weapons were made of copper or bronze, and blade axes were also found at Sosa. The knives and daggers were long and have a leaf shape, and sometimes they have only one edge or sometimes they have two edge. And the swords of the Harpan people were taken in the middle with a blunt point. Religion It is difficult to say anything about the religion of the Indus Valley people because no temples or religious materials have been discovered. However, some of the steel, ceilings, figurines and stone images help us in forming some ideas about the religious belief and practices of the Indus Valley people. We will discuss them one by one. Cult of Mother Goddess the people worship mother goddess or also known as earth goddess and the deity played an important role in the religious life of the people. The feature of mother goddess are she is almost nude except that she wears a small skirt and her body was laid with ornaments and she also wear a headdress that looks like a fan. And a large number of figures of the mother goddess have been found. Mother goddess embodies the idea of Shakti or the divine power. Worship of Shiva So apart from Mother Goddess, it was also believed that the Harpan people worship a male god and he was identified as Lord Shiva. 
and the figure of Lord Shiva was being given on a seal where he has three faces and he sits cross like in the posture of a yogi wearing a horn headdress and he was also surrounded by animals such as elephants tigers and buffaloes and he was universally worshiped so we have already discussed the detailed features about mother goddess and the lord shiva so this lord shiva is basically the pashupati that we have discussed in the previous lecture animal worship the harappan people worship animals such as the bull tiger goat rhinoceros crocodile and snake apart from that they also worship mythical and demi gods and these mythical and demi gods have body of a man with hooves and tails of a bull and the animals that were worshiped by the indus people later on became the vahama or the vehicles of the hindu gods for example buffalo became the vahama or the vehicle of yama tiger of kali elephant of indra and bull of shiva worship of trees trees were also worshiped by the indus valley people and people tree and neem trees were worshiped and these trees were also considered as sacred by the indus people and the people tree are also still worshiped among the hindus even today worship of sun fire and water the swastika and the wheel on some seals indicate worship of the sun god some seals also indicated the worship of fire however we did not know whether river was worshiped but some scholars are of the view that the great bath at mohenjo-daro was a temple of god river the priest king the archaeologists have found a statue which they label it as the priest king and since we did not know about the religious practices of the harappan people the archaeologists are not sure whether the priest king performed certain religious ceremonies or held certain political powers so these are all about the religion of the harappan people so basically the harappan people worship mother goddess worship shiva and also worship animals trees sun fire water and also the priest king so this is the end of the lecture i hope you enjoy it so if you like the lecture give a thumbs up and subscribe Thank you.